everyone, welcome to another quick tip video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to be showing you kind of a fun idea that you can use on your cards or projects, and that is using uh, score lines or your scoring board for decoration instead of just for the fold of the card. So I'm going to bring in my Martha Stewart craft scoring board, and I'm using this uh, stylus from We Are Member Keepers that goes really, really well into the grooves on the scoring board. And one of the things I really like to do is do a border. So I'm just bringing in right here, and I'll turn it, find the groove, Just like that, and then you have a really fun kind of decorative border. You can use either side, the bump or the groove. I also like to do sometimes like a grid pattern. So I'll go ahead and let's say I'll just do like every three quarters of an inch. All right, so I've got those vertical lines and I'll just turn it. Looks really cool on the opposite side where you get kind of that grid right there. It looks just kind of cool. You can even do two lines instead of one to accentuate one direction. It's just kind of a fun idea. It's a way that you can get a texture or embossing on your cardstock without using an embossing folder or anything like that. So just kind of a fun idea, way to add texture to your card. You could even do a grid and then maybe stamp a heart in each square or put a, a flower in each square. Lots of different things you can do with the scoring. You could even turn the paper on its side or on an angle so that you can have some angled lines. I think that would be really, really fun too. So hope that gave you guys some ideas on ways you can stretch the use of your scoring board and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.